if it was your brother laying there, you would want someone to, re you know, call in and report them if they knew anything or heard anything. Cosette Bailey is hoping that someone recognizes one of the men in these surveillance photos because police want to talk to them in connection with what happened to Cosette's brother, Thomas Porter Jr. His funeral was today. He's gone. That I'm not going to see him anymore. Not on this side. Yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. Porter died just days after an incident at the Sitco gas station on Jefferson and Pennsylvania in Detroit. Some sort of altercation, say police. Some sort of assault. And during it or after, Porter fell and hit his head hard on the cement. His sister says he never came to. How could you just do that to someone and then just leave them there laying there? You know, I, I just have no words for that. Thomas Porter was a respiratory therapist at the Veterans Hospital in Detroit. He was a veteran himself, a dad, a grandfather. He had stopped at the gas station after work. His family says Thomas was a peaceful guy, did not like confrontation, and they just want some answers. I want him caught. I want them brought to justice. I, I, we just praying that they catch these guys that did this to my brother. If you know anything about what happened to Thomas Porter here at the Sitco gas station in the early morning hours of April 1st, or if you recognize any of the young men in the surveillance photos, you need to call Detroit police right away. On Detroit's east side, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.